Hello everyone, and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of December 24th. And a very Merry Christmas to everyone out there. And a special thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all the thumbs up on the videos and the comments. Thank you for doing that. All right, your first card out is the moon card. So things are changing around you. Some sort of dream that you've had and you've been a little bit hesitant on moving forward with it. You know, you're losing sleep over it. Things, you're just up in your head a lot. Something has happened lately that's given you that insight for you to know that you need to change there's something in your life you need to settle with and and understand that you know you're moving forward and you're picking that path you're not going to get you know no longer led astray anymore you know because you've realized now that things around you have changed quite drastically and quickly and so you're following your intuition. You know, you're a little bit sharper than people give you credit for. You can see things that people think they've gotten away with something and now they haven't. You can see it very clearly. And the seven of rods, look at you. Now, if there's any challenges, you're gonna deal with them. You're, you know, you're in control here. You're defending yourself, your decisions. You know what you wanna do having going forward. And that's the path now that you're on. You know, if there's any competition here or whatever, you're dealing with that too. But I don't think there is. This is just you having a, a few matters in your life that you need to finish up and deal with so that you can now go forward for yourself without thinking about it. And the hangman. Yeah. And you took a pause, a time out for yourself. You know, and now you're realizing that it's time for you to get back in the game. You know, this you've been stuck for a while and you're realizing that I can overcome anything. I can achieve anything I want. And now you're taking those steps moving forward. For some of you, maybe you just needed to talk to somebody, you know, about what your future plans were. And now you've gotten the information and you are filtered it through and now you've decided what your next step is going to be. So this is you working forward on what you want to bring. Ah, and the three of swords. Now this could have been to do with a relationship. You know, something has left definitely a mark on you in your past and it's caused you quite a lot of grief, emotional pain, you know, and it hurts you. You know, this could have been a divorce that you've had to go through. And this could have been you know, a long time ago. It doesn't have to be like yesterday. But it left you with questions as you moved forward in your, in your life. And you're realizing now that it's time for you to take the swords out. Allow yourself and the universe to help you heal. So that you can open up to more love and more understanding for yourself you know cut yourself a little bit of room here and the queen of cups yeah you know you're very compassionate and it's you're healing your emotions this week you're being more satisfied with a few of the choices that you've made you know maybe you've had you've doubt and now you're getting more clarity. You're understanding that the choices you have made is the right ones for you. And you can own that. You know, and you're moving forward. Now, this could be, like I said, a new romance for some of you. And you're, you know, because of this, it stopped you from taking the next step. You know, you had that bit of hesitation. And now you're realizing that it's time for you to make that choice. And the Seven of Swords, yeah. You had definitely betrayal here. Something really left some marks on you. Now, this could have been somebody who, you know, likes to razz you all the time. And, and it didn't ever sit well with you. You never really said anything. But now you're understanding that that's their point of view. So you're not really sharing what you're doing anymore or telling anybody. You're keeping more to yourself. 
and you're doing that. You know, this could have been somebody who was sneaky or, you know, sneaking around behind your back, that sort of thing. And you've realized that you've always known it, but now you're facing it and just walking away yourself in the opposite direction. And the temptress, yeah, there's balance, harmony. You know, you're healing yourself, you're moving forward. And as you do that, you're also realizing that it's becoming more natural. People around you are, you know, starting to realize that you're actually changing and you're getting along with people better because your mindset's changed now. So you're more open to receiving as well as giving. You know, you've hit some sort of, you know, crossroads. You know, this could be you putting up, you know, your boundaries and, and people had to respect you and that that's your bottom line. You know, you're not about to compromise anymore. You know what you want to do and people are going to have to, you know, flow into you, get along with you because you want, you know, your health back, your harmony, you want good peace of mind and you want people around you that are on your side. And that's what you're doing this week. You're making sure that everybody around you is with you. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's been some definite, you know, negative thoughts, you know, self-imposed on yourself. And you're realizing that I want different things in my life. And what am I waiting for? What, you know, what, what am I expecting to happen? So you're, you know, taking the blindfolds off. You're moving forward. The damage is done. And you're realizing that, you know, for, for a while, maybe you were actually sort of playing, you know, the victim, you know, but you're not doing that anymore because you want a whole new way of life for yourself and now you're making those movements and the strength card yeah you definitely have the courage and the passion and the power to take those steps for yourself and you're in control and you know that and you're like i said avoiding people places and things that are no longer serving you you know the worst is behind you you have the courage to move forward and now you're actually taking the steps you know you're very mindful of what other people say and do, but you also want more in your own life for happiness. So you're taking that, you're getting control of that, and you're learning to accept your own choices as what is needed for you. And the lovers. So there you are. Very nice. This is definitely a relationship for many of you, you know. You're going to move in together. You're going to get engaged. For some of you, you're actually going to get married. You know, you're going to sign those prenups. Uh, for others of you, this could be a whole new career. Could be all of the above. Maybe you've, you know, got an opportunity to start a new career somewhere else and you meet somebody and you just mesh and your heart opens and, and you want a better way of life for yourself and you can see it, you know, and that's what you're doing. And your partner is helping you to know and see that what you want is the same as what they want. You just mesh together very nicely. <laughs> and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you are definitely torn. You know, you have fears, and we all do. You know, and you're having some nightmares here. It's actually causing you, and I'm sorry, insomnia. Like, you're so over worrying and stressing yourself out that you need to just get a good night's sleep really think about what your next steps are and you will forge ahead you will be happy yeah the ten of rods you've definitely carried more than your share of burdens you know you've worked hard you know you've completed things and you're just getting tired when that's more than understandable. And you want people to take responsibility for themselves so that it doesn't feel like it's always on your shoulders. And you're making them understand that that's where you're headed now. You guys are responsible for yourselves. I'm no longer keeping these burdens. And you're moving forward, which is very nice. Look at that. The Six of Cups. 
You're definitely more happy. You have happy memories and you're moving forward here. You know, that's beautiful to see because something has got a bigger smile on your face. Somebody said something or done something or you just had a memory and it's going to help you move in the direction that you can see for your future. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card, but your cards are all about movement, happiness, marriage, love. All right. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and do not try to force it to happen. And there it is. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you all again next week. Bye for now.